I'm going to show you how to strip old varnish or paint from your wood. From this job, you're going to need some Polycell Maximum Strength Paint Stripper. I use this because it's a gel and it means it won't drip. A paintbrush, a filling knife and definitely some safety glasses and gloves. Before you start, make sure you've covered the floor and any furniture with your dust sheets. Then open up all the doors and windows to keep the room well ventilated as you work and that you've got your safety glasses and your gloves on. First, you want to sand the area you're going to be working on. This helps the stripper to be absorbed into the paint or the varnish easier, making it more effective. Then take your Polycell Maximum Strength Paint Stripper and give it a good stir. Then, using a brush or a flat bladed tool, apply it generously to the area. And because it's a gel, you can put it on really thick. Then it's just a matter of waiting. Wait till you see the varnish or the paint begin to blister or flake. This will take up to four hours. If you're removing a water-based paint, it won't blister. The coat will only soften. Always test a small area first to make sure the gel has penetrated all of the paint layers before trying to strip the whole door. Now take your stripping knife and begin to scrape the layers of paint off. Then just sweep or vacuum up the mess when it's dry. If there are any stubborn bits, just repeat the process. The stripper is specially formulated for the wood, so you can apply another layer without worrying about damage. Give the wood a final clean with a damp cloth. Leave it to dry, then you're ready to decorate. So to quickly summarise, step one, prepare your surfaces and put on your protective gloves. Step two, apply a generous layer of Polycell Maximum Strength Paint Stripper and leave until paint or varnish flakes or blisters. Step three, test an area first to see if the paint stripper has penetrated all layers. Step four, remove varnish with a stripping knife and wipe clean with white spirit. Step five, leave to dry and then you're ready to decorate.